Crews immediately went to work stabilizing the area, stabilizing the rest of the building, and evacuating the area to make sure the scene was safe. Uh, we then went floor by floor of the building to make sure all of the workers on the building were safe uh, and to make sure everyone was accountable. Unfortunately, one of the workers uh, was uh, had fallen with the, the load off of the side of the building and sir came to those injuries. The individuals that were on the bridge at the time of the incident in the vehicles, one was transported to Broward General in stable condition and another one was transported with minor injuries. There was a third individual that was passing by in a car that had minor injuries uh, and signed a refusal on scene. Um, at this time, the scene is still under investigation. Uh, OSHA has been called out. Uh, the Florida Department of Transportation will be out for the bridge as well as the United States Coast Guard. The new river is closed in both directions to all marine traffic and Southeast Serve Avenue will be closed for an unknown amount of time. When the bridge, uh, when the section of the crane fell, it did impact uh, the bridge and leaving a hole into the bridge. So until such time as the structural integrity of the bridge can be determined, uh, this roadway will be closed. It's my understanding from the construction company that they were doing a, a process at the time called stepping the crane. Uh, it was not the crane per se that actually failed. It was a platform that they had equipment staged on that had failed at the time of the incident. And those items fell from uh, up on the building down onto the bridge below. Any questions? When you say that the worker was on the load, fell with the load, the worker was on the piece of crane that fell. I do not know exactly where. I, all I know is that uh, the worker fell from an elevated area of the building that was under construction. So I do not know if the platform was attached or not. I know that there was a platform that had equipment staged on it, and that is what failed. Well, we don't know exactly what the platform was. I don't know if it was attached or no. But it wasn't on the screen. I don't know that. Uh, there's three injuries and one fatality. Can you explain what stepping the crane was that process? So uh, with the tower cranes, is they're sectional. So as the building goes up, they have to add sections to the crane. They do that by slotting the new pieces in. Uh, at the time that was taking place, they were stepping the crane to add those sectional pieces in to elevate the crane as the building was going higher. Do you have any idea how long it will take to investigate and inspect the structure of the bridge? I don't. Uh, that would be a, a, a question for uh, Florida Department of Transportation. Without a doubt, you know, uh, that time from 4 o'clock until about 6.30 is one of our busiest traffic times here in downtown Fort Lauderdale. Um, you, you know, to think that no one that was on the ground was injured and only the, or no one on the ground uh, su suffered substantial injuries other than the individual that was working uh, it is unbelievable. Uh, you know, the amount of cars and traffic back up, uh, this could have been a whole lot worse. Chief, to say this is unusual as an understatement, I know that you're not going to jump to conclusions and that there's going to be an investigation, but clearly something went very wrong here, whether it was negligent, whether it was, I mean, who knows? I mean, talk to us about the investigation that's now underway and who's going to be helping out. So I can't con comment on open investigations. Uh, that'll be up to the agencies that are leading those investigations at the time. And this is still way uh, preliminary to make any comments on what went wrong. As far as saving people on the hospital, all stable or minor injuries, correct? No one's critical? So no one's critical. Uh, everyone is stable. One is, is stable. The other one had minor injuries. And the other one was not transported to the hospital. They signed a release on scene. I do not know where they were at. I believe that they were in vehicles when the incident occurred. Who's going to be the investigative agency that will look into that statement? Yeah. Hello, everyone. This is Bill Schultz, Chief of Police, Fort Lauderdale, B-I-L-L-S-C-H-U-L-T-Z. Uh, to answer your question, the question was who's going to be investigating. There will obviously be a main component through OSHA. Uh, they are en route to the scene right now. Uh, we will be handling the 
death investigation in conjunction with OSHA as well. Certainly, any accident like this is tragic. Any loss of life is tragic. Um, it was mentioned earlier, we are lucky. It is a very busy time on Las Olas. We are lucky that there were not more injuries or fatalities. Well, and certainly the investigation will let us know at least the portions of what may have happened. But in general, you can see how much construction is going on in our city alone. It's very safe. These OSHA workers, uh, these construction companies, these crane companies do a fantastic job of normally keeping a very safe work environment. So this tragic accident will no doubt learn soon what the cause of it was. Right now, so the question was, will construction come to a halt? Right now, the, the construction site is shut down. All the workers have been accounted for. All the other workers are safe. Just that building. Yeah, it's yes. it's um. So yes, all of the buildings surrounding the building that were under construction are completely safe at this time. Uh, the incident did not affect any of the surrounding buildings, uh, and so there should be no concerns.